The Rat by The Walkman. So this song is in standard tuning and we start off with a C sharp minor chord but we're only playing, most of this song, we're only playing the top four strings. So the D, the G, the B and the E and quite a large part of this song we're only going to play the top three strings. So we're going to start with a C sharp minor chord. So we have six of the D, six of the G, five of the B and four of the high E string. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to strum through that for a little while, then we're going to move up to this chord. So we have 9 of the G, 9 of the B and 7 of the high E string. Then we're going to come up to here, which is 11 of the G, 10 of the B and 9 of the high E. Then we're going to bring the pinky and put that in on 11 of the high E string. So we're going to go from. Then we've got this little riff or these, this little chord change, should I say. So we're playing 11 of the G. 10 of the B, 9 of the E, then 9, 9 and 7, and then 6, 7 and 5. Then we're going to play 9, 9 and 7. 6, 7 and 5 and then this chord here, so 4, 5 and 4. So we've got soli. We play that through a couple of times and then at the end of the section, we're just going to play this C sharp minor chord again. So again, let's go from the start. So we've got the C sharp minor. Move up to this chord here, which is actually an E chord. Up here, which is an F sharp minor. Stick the little pinky down here, which is on the sixth. Then again, F sharp minor. E, F sharp minor, repeat, then E, F sharp minor, and an e, uh, another E chord, repeat that, and then finish that section on a C sharp minor. Then we go into the second verse or section, but instead of starting on this chord, we're going to come up and start on this E chord here. Etc. So that's the same, and then it finishes on that C sharp minor. Then we're going to go into the next section, so let's have a look at those chords now. So then we have this section. And that is actually played six times, and then we're into. So what we're doing here, again we're just playing here the D, the G and the B string and we're going to play four of the D, little finger on four of the G, third finger on three of the B. 
then we're going to have our first finger here on the second fret of the G and then it's also going to move down to the first so little pinky off and then we're going to play up here so the same thing but on the ninth fret so nine little pinky on nine third finger uh, middle finger on the eight of the b and then the first finger is going to be on the seven and then come down to the six <laughs> And we do this a couple of times. Then we're going to drop down to a D major chord. Then we're back up here to the B um, E minor. Then we're going to play an F sharp minor up here. Down to a D major. Back up to an F sharp minor. And then we finish this section on this high E chord. Which is 9 of the G, 9 of the B and 7 of the high E. So let's do this through one more time this section. We're going to play that six times. Then we come up to that section. Back down to here. Back up to here. D major back into this little lick then an F sharp minor D major F sharp minor and then this high E chord then we're back into the normal verse slash chorus and that's the end of that section so then the song finishes with two chords which is an F sharp minor up here and then a C minor down here, uh, sorry C sharp minor I hope I said F sharp minor, if I didn't it's F sharp minor and then finishes on C sharp minor and that is the end of the song I hope you enjoyed that lesson, if you did make sure you give it a like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so that you always get told when I release a new video and I'll see you later. For this video I was using a PRS EG guitar with bare knuckle Cobra pickups and an orange Rockerverb 50 amp.